Hi everybody, welcome to Cardiologist. In today's exercise, we will try to practice the DTR option of circle command, polar tracking and polar array. If you have doubts about any command, you can always go back to the previous tutorials, specifically tutorials 1 to 6 to learn more about it. As they say, no pain, no gain, so subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to fill up your brain. I know that time comes at a cost, which is why I left timestamps in the video timeline to save you time and make sure you don't get lost, although I would really love it if you watch the whole way through. In this video, we will draw and dimension together this object. When you open AutoCAD, click on Start Drawing from the interface. If the grid is activated, turn it off from the status bar or use F7 key to turn it on and off. Type units in the command line and make sure drawing units type is decimal, precision is zero, draw units is millimeter. Type LA to open layer properties manager and create a layer named object. Create another layer for dimensioning. Change the dimension layer color to gray number eight Double click the object layer to set it as the current layer, then close layer properties manager. Make sure ortho mode is activated. Click on this little arrow of OSNAP and check center point and tangent mode. Before you start drawing, be sure to save the file and keep doing that from time to time to avoid losing your drawing and effort by mistake. If you are saving for the first time, Click on Save from the Quick Access Toolbar. Choose the file location and type the name. Then click on Save. Click on the Application button. Click on Options. Go to Open and Save tab. In the File Safety Precautions, make sure Automatic Save is checked and at every 10 minutes. Moreover, you can click on Ctrl plus S to save your progress anytime you want. Draw a circle 50 mm in diameter. Offset the circle 25 mm outward. Click on this little arrow and select the polar tracking increment path to be by 5 degrees. Select the inner circle and copy it a distance of 150 mm along the 25 degree path. Offset this circle inward 12.5 mm. Type C for circle and click on space. Click on the TTR option, which is a shortcut for tangent tangent radius. Specify the first tangent point somewhere on this side of circle and the second tangent point somewhere here. Then specify circle radius 150 mm. Click on space to repeat the last command executed in AutoCAD, which is the circle tool in our case. Click on the TTR option again, select this side of circle for the first tangent point, and this side of circle for the second tangent point. Type 75 mm for the radius. Click on trim command from modify panel. Click on space to select all objects in the drawing area. Then trim these parts. Window select the drawing. Type J for join and hit space. Select these parts. Click on this little arrow and choose polar array. Specify array center point at the circle center. Change number of items to 3 and click on tab. The angle will change automatically to 120 degrees. Click on close array. Dimensioning. Click on control plus 1 to open properties palette. Change the layer to dim for dimensioning. Type D and hit space to open dimension style manager. Click on New and type DEM02, then Continue. 
In the lines tab, make sure baseline spacing is 3.75, extend by on dimension lines 1.25, offset from original 1. In the symbols and arrows tab, change arrow size to 1.8, make sure dimension break size is 3.75, and go to text tab. Change text height to 1.8, in the text placement field, make sure vertical is set to above and horizontal is set to centered. Change offset from dimension line to 1. In the text alignment field, check aligned with dimension line. In the fit tab, make sure overall scale is selected and the value is 2. In the primary unit, set the precision of linear dimension to 0 and the same for angular dimensions. Click OK and close. Go to Annotate tab and click on this little arrow to choose aligned dimension. Dimension the distance from this circle center point mark to this circle center point mark and place the dimension at this mark. Choose diameter from dimension list. Dimension this circle. Click on space to repeat the command and dimension this circle. Type DIMD to activate diameter dimension again. Then dimension these circles. Choose radius from the dimension type list and measure this arc radius and this arc radius. Now we need to prepare the sheet to print the drawing. Go to Layout Sheet, select the existing viewport and delete it. Right click Layout 1 and rename it to Exercise 05. Right click Exercise 05 and go to Page Setup Manager, where we can set the sheet size, orientation, quality and many other things. Click on Modify, change the printer name to DWG to PDF. Make sure the paper size ISO full plate A4 is selected. Check scale line weights. Make sure landscape orientation is selected. Then click on OK and close. Type V port and hit space. Choose single and click OK. The command line is asking to specify the first corner or just click on space for fit. If you go to layer properties manager, you can see a layer created automatically and named div points. It was generated when the first dimension was created in the drawing. This layer is imprintable and stores information about definition points of dimensions. It's usually used for the viewports and for any detail in the drawing you don't want to print. So select the viewport and go to properties then change its layer to div points. Now to print the drawing we need to insert the title block. We created together in tutorial 8 of this course. Remember, title block is a template for the sheet you want to print and it involves imperative information to identify the drawing. So I will open exercise 01 that we did in tutorial 8 and copy the title block from there. Select the title block and its content. Type CO and select copy paste. Specify the base point as mentioned in the command line. Click on this mark and go to exercise 05. Click on Ctrl plus V for paste command. And place the title block at this endpoint mark. Select the viewport and adjust the boundaries to be inside the title block. Click on scale from the status bar and check 1 to 2. This will minimize the drawn objects twice to fit it inside the A4 sheet. Double click inside the viewport, then click and hold the mouse scroll wheel to move the drawing to this corner. If the scale is changed while moving, you could simply adjust it back as we did before. Finally, click on the lock sign to lock the viewport and prevent any changes for the scale. If the title block includes a logo and for some reason the logo disappears when you copy the title block, 
from one drawing to another, we can help AutoCAD to locate the logo and resolve this issue by using the XREF command. Change the drawing title to Tutorial 12-Exercise 05. Change the scale to 1 to 2. Change the date and the drawing number to YT-CAD-TT12 dash ex dash zero zero five click on control plus p to open plot setting if this window pops up just click on escape button click on preview to check out the drawing before making the printout click on print choose a folder type the file name and click on save. In this tutorial, you learned how to draw a circle using the TTR option. You practice polar tracking and polar array among other tools I spoke about before. I purposely tried to execute the commands from the ribbon as well as using the shortcuts in order for you guys to be more familiar with the tools locations on the interface. Again, if you want to know more in detail about any tool or command I used during the exercise, I recommend you to watch tutorials 1 to 6. All in all, I have two more things guys to tell you. First, keep practicing AutoCAD, even if you repeat the same exercise several times in order to enhance your drawing skills. Secondly, don't let this video end without subscribing to the channel and ring that notification bell to receive more materials.